All right, hello YouTube, this is Ryan again, and I'm cooking up another ZOA recipe. I want to show you how to use it with multiple instruments in AUM. So let's exit out of there, and ZOA actually has five MIDI outputs, one for all of the playheads together, and one for each playhead on its own. So this means we can send maybe a melody to one instrument and a bass note to another instrument. So let's actually try to do that. I'll leave uh, the house mark one on all outs, but I'm gonna add another instrument here. And let's just check out maybe digitalism. So let's find a sound. Right, sounds great, that'll do. So what let's do is let's maybe send, um, hang on, okay, what have I got going on in Zoa here? I've got those kind of offset one notes on playheads one and two, and then I've got a bass note, and I've got the melody. So why don't I actually send playheads one and two to the choir? And let's hear how that sounds. And we really ought to send that into our bus. All right, that is filling up the space really nicely. Let's try to get in a bass here. Maybe pull in the Moog. see if I want to bring this down. Super loud. Pull it down. And just get rid of the glide. Okay, that'll do. And I think the bass was uh, the third output. So let's see how that sounds. All right, this is great, and this is all Zoa. We have Zoa sending uh, two two playheads, uh, a fifth apart with the same pattern to the digitalism synth and the house mark one. We have it sending its whole note bass line, uh, which is always playing the first living cell in the grid. And that's going to the model D and also to the house mark one. And I think finally that last playhead is just going to the house mark one and in the last video, I actually set up some velocity modulation. So you can check that one out if you wanna see how to set up modulation with the Rosetta LFO. So this is sounding really good. Let's just hit play and thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.